this or that with Jean Paul Gaultier Le Beau, the original, or Jean Paul Gaultier Le Beau, Le Parfum. Which one should you buy? Well, let's start off talking about the original. The original opens up with a blast of freshness, so this very juicy bergamot hits you in the opening. It's very fresh and energetic, really reminds you of summertime. After a few minutes, that's when you start getting this sweet, tropical coconut come through. Now, coconut is not a very popular fragrance note in a lot of designer fragrances. In fact, there's only a two or three fragrances in my whole collection that have the note of coconut in. So it's quite rare and you don't often find it. It's done so well in Le Beau because it mixes so well with the freshness and really creates an amazing vacation style vibe. Now I let this dry down on the test strip for about two hours before doing this video. And at the end of the two hours, mainly all I could smell was a fresh tonka bean. So the sweet tonka bean remained for the longest time and it had this touch of freshness. So in the base, you've got this tonka bean note and that is what's gonna last the longest time in Le Beau EDT. Who should wear this? Well, it does lean a little bit youthful as do a lot of Jean Paul Gaultier's fragrances, but there's no reason if you're 40 or above you can't wear this. I'm just saying that the general smell leads a little bit youthful because it's quite sweet. But one thing that's important to know about these two fragrances, they are both sweet, but the sweetness is balanced so well that neither become too sweet. This is a summer fragrance, of course, maybe a summer vacation, but just summer in general, the warm days when you want something tropical, fresh, easy to wear, and just a beautiful fragrance. Le Beau is a fantastic choice. Now let's look at Le Parfum. So Le Beau, Le Parfum, this one is being spoken about a lot recently, and I think for good reason. This is a fantastic fragrance, and I haven't got anything bad to say about it. Now, the, the Le Parfum version, I would say, is a more grown-up, almost more niche quality version of the original. It becomes a bit more interesting, it becomes a bit darker, it becomes a little bit more woody and a little bit more grown up. So the opening, I'm going to spray on this test strip, which I've already had the fragrance on for two hours testing it. Now the opening is a lovely pineapple note. You can really pick up pineapple in this with iris. Now iris is a formal fragrance note. It's a bit woody, it's a bit powdery, and it's probably the same type of iris that's in Le Mal Le Parfum that also has a powdery iris, and that's what I pick up in this. It goes a bit powdery, mixes well with the pineapple, and just adds a nice powdery freshness to the opening. You still get coconut come through, you get the tropical coconut, same as in Le Beau, the original, but this just has the interesting pineapple and iris, which we don't get in the original. It creates a different character, and makes this just a little bit more mature and interesting. So over Overall, this just smells like a higher quality version of Le Beau. Um, it's still really easy to wear. You're not going to find anyone who finds this challenging, but it's just maybe not as fresh as the original. Has those darker notes, has the amber, has the woody notes, still has that nice tonka bean sweetness. And then you've got the sort of formal powdery iris smell as well. But this, this is absolutely incredible. I love I love both of these fragrances and they're really hard to decide which one's the best because on one hand, Le Beau, the original, has this just easygoing tropical freshness which you just can't dislike. Really easy to wear and great to wear in a summer daytime. Whereas Le Beau, Le Parfum just has a bit more complexity. It's maybe not something you'd want to wear all the time if, you wanna, if you've just got out of the shower, it's a hot day and you want something just fresh and easy going, perhaps that's when the original will come in handy. But if you're going on a, a night out when you're on a summer holiday and you want something a bit more complex and something that maybe lasts a bit longer because this does last longer, this is when I would pick this. Now, as this dried down on the test strip, I mainly just smelled this powdery, coconut, woody type smell. So it didn't smell as sweet as the original, which surprised me. I always thought Le Beau Le Parfum was sweeter, but it turns out actually the original keeps the sweetness for longer with that tonka bean. This one stays a bit more woody and a bit more powdery. So arguably you could say this would suit someone who is older as well as younger, whereas the original is more for a someone under the age of 25. That's how I'd categorize these, but both of these could be worn to any situation by anyone. They're very versatile and they're great fragrances. Hope this video helped you choose which Lebeau you should buy. Let me know which one is your favorite.